The Al Noor Mosque parking lot was full on Friday, and it still is because stuck there are the cars of the dead, the injured, and the survivors. Adrian Wright's car is there. He's okay, but still looking at all the faces of his friends who are gone. This brother here, he has a newborn son. Wright was sitting up close by the imam Friday just as he was starting the khutbah or the sermon. Chillingly, it was about inclusivity, community togetherness. He didn't get too far into it before the, the terrorists started to attack. Then the first shot went off and the imam paused, it was dead silent. When the other shots went off and people started screaming, that's when noise erupted in the masjid. Just a flurry of gunshots started coming through and I was seeing it hit, um, hit the ceiling, hit the walls, hit people. I turned and I got up. I ran through this. A window to his left had been broken. He ran through it, out the back parking lot, over a wall. Wright is a father of an eight-week-old son, but he's also a merchant marine, has navigation and paramilitary training. Those instincts, he says, saved him. He and others ran through the neighborhoods, the gunshots still coming. Only when they stopped did he start to walk back to the mosque and into so much death. I looked down into the car park, there were just dead bodies on the floor. And then there were dead bodies along the sidewalk. And then there were kids, children. He, he was killing children. You understand? I know. Four, three, five. They weren't caught in the, yeah. in the fire. He was killing them. And those faces again. He started seeing the bodies of people he'd been smiling with minutes earlier. Like this little one, Moan, who did not survive. His father's name is Adam. He picked him up off the ground. There's Wright in that photo, still stunned. In that moment, he says, he'd been approached by the mother of this young man, Saeed Milne. That's her in the picture. She said, have you seen my son? And I looked at the picture and I, I hoped I could tell her yes. You understand? I hope I, could, I, I, I really wanted to be able to say, yes, I've seen him, he's okay. But the fact is I hadn't seen him. And with each subsequent person that she would ask, you could see her spirit just sink. Said Milne did not survive. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's really hard. Processing this takes a toll, but oddly, Wright says he had to do something hard. Watch that wretched video. I don't encourage people to watch it. I, please don't watch it. Any, 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 any of you watching, please do not watch it. But I had to watch it. I was there. You understand what I mean? And I had, to, I, I had to have some certainty. So when I watched the video and I saw him killing people I knew, I knew for certain at least that, okay, this brother, he didn't make it. He knows not everyone will understand that, nor will they understand he feels not an ounce of hate. We all need to be compassionate towards each other. We all need to stand up for each other. Right. Whether you're atheist or Christian or Jew or Muslim or Buddhist or whatever you are, nobody should suffer and you be in agreement or you don't speak out against it right. because you never know when it's your turn. It might be us now, but it could be you tomorrow. Adrian Wright needs time, is, is so thankful he has it.